Sally Kristen Ride is one of the most honored and admirable lesbians in history. She was born on May 26, 1951, in Los Angeles, California. She was a nationally ranked tennis player who went on to attend multiple universities before graduating at Stanford with a bachelor's degree in English and physics. She later earned a master's degree in 1975 and a PhD in physics in 1978 with a focus on astrophysics and free electron lasers. I'll admit in researching this story, I have no idea what that is either. But in 1978, she was selected to be an astronaut as part of NASA's Astronaut Group 8, which was the first class to select women. She became a mission specialist, served as the ground-based capsule communicator for the second and third space shuttle flights, and helped develop the space shuttle's robot arm. I want to get up as soon as I can. So that means that I'd like to be the first woman up, but uh, I, don't, I don't have any uh, great desire to be the first woman. On June 18, 1983, she became the first American woman in space as a crew member aboard the Challenger. She would later do another trip to space in 1984 aboard the Challenger once again. Overall, she spent 343 hours in space. Being able to put, put on a pressure suit and then open the hatch and step outside and, and have a view of essentially the universe out in front of you. Throughout all of the media attention she received over the years, she never once revealed any details of her personal life though. When she passed away from pancreatic cancer on July 23rd of 2012, at the age of 61, no one still had any idea about her personal life. It was only in her obituary that she revealed her partner of 27 years was a woman by the name of Tan O'Shaughnessy, who was a professor of school psychology at San Diego State University. Sally Ride is the first known LGBTQ astronaut in history, and therefore a wonderful role model for lesbians and everyone else. Just break the stratospheric glass ceiling, uh, she blasted through it. And when she came back to Earth, she devoted her life to helping girls excel in fields like math, science, and engineering. Young girls need to see role models, she said. You can't be what you can't see. Today, our daughters, including Malia and Sasha, can set their sights a little bit higher because Sally Ride showed them the way. Anyway, that was our LGBTQ history fact of the day. Please join us in fighting for LGBTQ education in all schools by signing the petition linked below. While you're down there, consider supporting our show by checking out our Pride Academy student collection in our merchandise store. Don't forget to like this video, comment your LGBTQ friendly thoughts, hit that rainbow subscribe button so you don't miss out on new episodes of the show, and share this video with others. As always, I'm your host Matt Haslam, this has been PBR. Thank you so much for watching and have a gay day everyone. Watch Powered by Rainbows Season 3, only on MHP-TV.